Michael Thomas is coming off of a year in the NFL where he was an all-pro and one of the most prolific wide receivers in the league. Every Saints fan that you'll talk to will tell you he was the best wide receiver in the league. Well, right now, you guys are going to get to see a gameplay of what Madden thinks of him. Now, throughout the year, I've told you guys this several times. Before Madden gets patched, it's a, it's a decent game. Like, I don't want to say, like, it's the best game, but... Over the last five years, before the game was patched, it's always been better prior to any patch. Regardless of what you think they fix, um, you know, when they had the, um, whatever that nickel defense was, the nickel uh, 335 odd, where it was wild blitzes, like, no matter what it is, there's always ways to deal with it throughout the year, but once they patch the game, it gets kind of unbearable. This guy, when I played against him earlier in the year, was one of the most dominant receivers in the league. But after they started to patch the game and things started to happen, everybody started to drop the ball. Everybody started to do foolishness. So it's not only on, you know, the cards that I might like or that you might like. All the cards unanimously play the same exact way for the most part. Some players are going to be a little bit more glitchy just because in certain games, I feel like EA kind of ups the sliders. They turn the sliders down. They're doing th different things to the game. But... You guys want to see what he's all about. Based on his numbers and his height, like all the attributes and everything that goes about his card, he should be pretty decent in the game. Now, I'm way off of just trying to moss people because what happens is that only depends on whether EA likes you for that play or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can moss people if you want, but sometimes it's better if you just if you just throw it up in a quad, quadruple coverage and it gets really really wild i'm just giving you guys a little insight into his numbers right there to see where he is obviously i don't have him fully chemmed up because i'm not going back to fully chem up any 99 overall player that i don't already have unless it's really really necessary because i just don't feel like right now at this point in the game that anybody's card is that necessary to do that so we're just giving him the zone run we're going to add him in there. Obviously, John Madden coach Sprinter gives him another, you know, speed, whatever. So he's at about 97. Um, pretty much we're going to see what he's all about. You know what I'm saying? 6'3", big body. Let's see what he's all about. So, you know, with this guy, we're going to be pretty much trying to experiment what's going on with the, um, you know, can he catch the ball? You know, is this guy, based on what you guys have been giving me in the comment section, yo, he's the best wide receiver in the league, yo. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to put him in a regular trips tight end, right? I've been running trips tight end over the last, I guess the last month that I went back to the Patriots playbook on offense. I don't really care anymore, guys. Like, I'm coming out doing whatever I want. Uh, defensively, um, I'm going to run engage eight for the most part, like maybe 95% of the time. And I'm going to see what happens. You know what I'm saying, bro? You can beat it, you beat it. If not, you're going to take an L in your file, and that's pretty much it. So I came out with the full intention of seeing if you guys were lying to me about how good Michael Thomas is. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm going to show, I'm showing you guys everything that I'm doing. Trips tight end. We're going to take out Chad Johnson from the, you know, the deep crosser. We're going to put, um, you know, Michael Thomas in that area. Chad Johnson will go to the inside uh, wide receiver slot. And we're going to go out here and we're going to run some plays and see what's up, bro. And um, like what I'm trying to figure out is this. It's certain players. Like you see how OBJ is like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and he goes up sometimes for aggressive catches. Once they patch the game, everybody doesn't respond to the ball as, as the same way they used to. Now look right there. Okay, you know Aaron Rodgers is going to throw a dot. Now, right there, that's usually a drop. Let me just point that out because I wasn't possession catching it. That was aggressive. So usually when you throw it in the coverage like that, no matter how good the receiver is, they drop the ball when it's an aggressive catch. All right? So that's a good sign for him right there. What I want to see, you can see that this guy's running around with his linebacker trying to take away the crosser, so I'm not going to throw the ball in the coverage. Like, right there, I, was, I could have probably threw it, but he had good user, and he stayed right below him. So mostly, all of that time is going to be a pick. If you throw that ball, you are asking to be picked off. That, that's pretty much what that's all about right there. All right, so I'm not going to do that right now, especially with me trying to figure out if he's good or not. So I'm going to try to, you know, manipulate a couple of routes. You saw that I put deep route chemistry on him to get the deep, uh, the deep crossers. Guys, keep in mind, if you're going to be playing Madden 20, a lot of, a lot of um, QBs are not going to be able to get certain attributes to be able to call those type of hot routes. We're going to have to see exactly what's going on, but it looks like they're taking away a lot of the red chems, and it's going to be based on the type of quarterback that you have, field general, uh, strong arm, mobile. Like It's going to be kind of different. I think they're taking away a lot of it because we kind of just put everything on every player that we wanted and just did whatever we wanted, and it didn't seem like it was like something that they liked that we were doing. I don't know if you guys, like they're more worried about the fact that everybody had the identical chems on than worrying about the gameplay. It's like kind of weird. But I do like that they're doing that, though, because everybody won't be able to get certain chems. So I want to point that out. So it make okay, obviously, you see the guy just standing there. He's not jumping. He's 6'3". The ball's being thrown right there, but he's not jumping it. But 
we're, we're going to be able to see differences based on what they've been giving out in their in their first current streams. We're going to start to see some differences. Right there, Michael Thomas goes up high and grabs that on the aggressive catch. Oh, you play basketball? Right now his moms. Let's get it. I just want to be able to know that if my player is 6'3", and I'm playing against Tyran Matthew, and the ball is thrown up high, then a guy that's four foot one can't get the ball. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, it don't really matter about everything else because we can't expect that the game is going to be that much better. Like, I'm not expecting Madden 20 to be like, yo, wow, dog, this game is sick. But I'm a Madden dude, so I'm going to play it regardless and see what I can make out of it. But I'm not expecting a miracle, dog. Oh, but, but what I'm saying is I don't think that a lot of the things that we've been getting away with and all of us get away with, we, we throw the ball just randomly because right now I don't really care anymore. Before, early in the year when I was trying to make reads, I lost a lot more games. Now I don't care. Like, if it looks like I can, you know, aggressive catch you and I'll take your soul, I'm going to throw it in the quintuple coverage. Like, I'm going to do that now. I got to make sure. But if they change the mechanics of the game, the players like Michael Thomas is going to be, you know, they're going to be very, very dominant because they may try to go. You know, like how Madden recycles itself. So say they go back to like Madden 15 archetypes. And they make Michael Thomas like that goon 6'3 dude. Like he's going to be a rare dude that has spin, height, and all that stuff. So he might turn out to be a boss, you know, come the start of, you know, Madden 20. But looking at the way that he was in this game, I didn't really see much of a difference. Obviously, he goes up and gets that. But I have to keep playing with him to see if I put somebody else there, is that player going to jump like that as well? Like right here, look. You see, look, he actually, who is that? That Chad Johnson? Chad Johnson actually had somebody beat. I thought I had him, and Ronnie Lott just jumped up and picked it. But I got to start to see, you know, as far as the way the height goes for the remainder of the year, does it really matter? Because we have to compare it when we see Madden 20. A lot of us had a lot of disputes about what worked, what didn't work. But if you guys notice, as the game changes, you have to evolve. And EA showed us that they can actually, you know, they can, they can just completely tune, bro, tune the game up without even telling you it's a patch. So it wasn't coincidental that a lot of the players, like, you saw like how Russell Wilson came out and then all of a sudden uh, Kyler Murray was garbage? Like, that's not coincidence. EA is letting you know, listen, dude, go into the store, stop buying packs, and shut up about it. All of that is being said with that one tune-up. You know what I'm saying? So these are the things that I'm trying to figure out now as we grind it out. Because you guys are trying to see, like, yo, what, what is the plan for Madden 20? What are we doing? How are we going to be doing it? I told you guys, we are building our team starting now we're gonna have to stomach the week object the week to week objectives because guess what a lot of people that quit on the game and then come back whatever like that they could do whatever they want but i'm telling you as hard as it is for you to log in you got to do it bro you got to log in and that's why i'm trying to make it a little bit more exciting for you guys give you guys different you know players from your team and uh try to make you guys get more into it because i want you to be able to log in to get those tokens because one of you guys that watch this video is going to pull one of the highest overall elite cards through that through that whole collectible of getting the loyalty tokens. One of you got at least one of you is going to pull like whatever the highest card is. It's going to be Nat, but you're going to pull it. And that's what it's all about. I just want you guys to be able to eat from the start. So I don't really care, you know, who gets it, who doesn't get it. One of us is going to get it. You know what I'm saying? And it don't got to be me. You guys already know. I'm the pack god. So I, you know what I'm saying? You guys hit me with the pack prayer like, "Bro, yo, hey, we get it popping out here in these streets. You already know how we do. So we're pretty much good with that. But again, with this kid right here, it's not even about the fact that I could have done more with Michael Thomas. I did more than enough. This, this is what I wanted to see. When I threw that deep crosser earlier in the game, I wanted to see if he would catch it by me. What is this kid doing? Did he really just throw that? Yeah, that, that, yeah this dude's gangster right here. You see what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. What's going to happen is this. Because EA has gotten numerous complaints, even from the guys that are bums, about dudes just throwing the ball in the coverage, they, they are slowly giving everybody back a little bit more user. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to remember, user was slowly being taken away from the game through 16 and on. And then now, what I think what they're doing is they're trying to change it up a little bit, and they're making it a little bit more, you know, based off of you can do both ways you could you could be a guy that doesn't really have user and you could be a guy that has good user and enjoy the game but the thing that really frustrates everybody is and i know it's happened to all of us go ahead and let me know in the comments you strafe up you're right in front of the player and the dude throws it through your neck listen it's happened to all of us i'm not saying it's okay see you guys think i'm saying it's okay i'm not saying it's okay what i'm saying is you logged in right like if you didn't log in and it happened to you 
then, you know, EA is totally responsible. But if you were sane and your brain was functioning like myself, you know what I'm saying? We're thankful for that. And we log in. You're telling EA, look, do what you want with me. So look, bro, it is what, okay, he, he runs back there, and this should have been a dot, but of course he touches me, and it's a fumble. Well, not a fumble, but the ball just comes out. That, that's, we'll see what happens. Like, that's one of the most annoying things ever, and it happens to all of us again. So this is what I'm going to tell you about Michael Thomas. Based on what I saw from him in this gameplay, he, he's a red zone threat. Obviously, 6'3", big body, whatever. I would th I'm going I'm to keep him in a lineup just to throw it to him in the red zone. I'll sub somebody out that's a little bit shorter. Beckham and Cal uh, Chad Johnson maybe, you know, switch it up a little bit. He's a red zone threat. As far as his route running and everything like that, you can see with, with him on triangle right there, he's running the route the same way everybody else does. I don't know if I can give you that he actually catches the ball better, uh, even though he has a 99 catch. I don't want to go there. But I will tell you that you can see when he goes up for the ball, that he's noticeably bigger. But just remember, the animation overtakes everything. The animation is going to overtake it. So if somebody is like four foot three and they're behind you and you throw it up, they're going to still intercept the ball. All right? I just want to point that out because I did play a game where that happened again with him as well. So I just want to make sure you guys understand that. But for the most part, if you're a Saints fan, he's a solid player, especially if you got him chemmed up from the, you know what I'm saying, from the get-go. If you got him chemmed up, he's, he's a guy, bro. At 99 speed, he's probably a monster. Okay, 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 bro. No, I, bro, I didn't want him to do that, bro. I didn't want him to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, what is he doing right there? I don't really know what that means with Aaron Rodgers. You know Aaron Rodgers is very, very disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Championship belt type status. But that's going to be pretty much it for this guy, man. He's going to fumble right here. You know, that's why we keep Jalen Smith on special teams. And it's pretty much a wrap. So if you're a Saints fan, grab him. I'm not seeing anything really that much spectacular, but we'll see what it is. Until next time, one love.